also uh, running a mission on Doom 2016 with uh, co-workers and friends, The Pain, and Fish Food. Fish Food is currently gonna... playing Resident Evil 3. Yeah. And I believe from what I'm hearing over chat, The Pain is playing Borderlands 3. Yeah, I might switch over to ESO later. Oh, you're going ESO again. Like Elder Scrolls Online ESO? Yes. Yes. Ooh. Nice. Grey Wars coming out, and I'm thinking about getting it. <coughs> so it's set up these. Guns. I would, I would shoot a box, and a zombie would decide to just pop his ugly head. Please die. Oh yes, headshot, and he exploded. So, so how many, uh, how many massive online, like, or massive multiplayer games are you gonna have running? Apparently, a few. Oh. Oh, nice. my volume is still well, way too high. The only one I have is uh, Never Winter right now. I, uh, I uninstalled Monster Hunter for ESO. So. Basically, for Mass Multiplayer Online, it's just gonna switch between ESO and Never Winter. Uh, how are you doing on your, your uh, Baldur's Gate playthrough? Uh. I'm pretty far on one of them. I have a... The one I told you that one time, it was like a half work Barbarian. That yeah. Was like... Bring it on the meat. Oh, there's a big guy. Okay, we got music. We've got lots of demons. Let's kill everything. There goes yeah. your head. There goes your head. I hate fish food. Boom! Sure. I have a question. I have an answer. Is there oh. a story behind the fish food? I will tell you the story behind the fish food. Uh -huh. Okay. So, um, back in 2013, I want to say, give or take, um, we were, me and some friends were doing a WWE podcast crew, right? And before our first session, everybody's like, well, we all need nicknames because nobody's allowed to use their real name. Makes sense. It's the internet. Yeah. And, uh, everybody had a cool name, like, you know, my buddy Houston, which I'll just name drop first name, he was like, I'm the doc because, uh, you know, he's a doctor, or he's a medic in the military. Had one guy, his, he chose Rubicon after the car because he liked the Transformers and it was kind of similar to his last name. Uh, Brandon went with the Triple B, which is the big black expletive. Not not the <laughs> female dog type, but you know, you, you can figure that out. Yeah. And I couldn't think of one. And, well, my last name is a type of fish. So, uh... Um, okay. That's what we... And I said that. It's like, we can name you fish food. I was like, that's what you're going to come up with. Yeah, why not? <laughs> and the whole podcast, like, we would always, like, apparently everybody thought I literally was a fish and lived in a bowl, and, like, they kept trying to feed me to, like, the piranhas and the sharks and stuff. It was some funny <laughs> stuff. I actually do still have all the podcasts on a YouTube channel. I don't have access. I mean, I have access to it, but I don't know how to edit everything. I don't remember that count information, but... Oh, I had some next plays on that on there and all that good stuff. Yeah, that's how fish food came about. Very nice. This that's one of those nicknames where you didn't really pick it. People picked it for you. Kind of, sort of, yeah. Like, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I have a buddy that's I name him Ginger. Yeah. That's well, it's funny me. because my family kind of, sort of, went with it too. Like, sort of. Uh, they, my dad used to go by the code name Turbo. Because he was a speed demon. Just when he was trucking, that was his handle because he got an ungodly amount of speeding tickets. And, uh, well, the military didn't really like that because, you know, it portrayed a bad image. So they started calling him the catfish because he was the big fish. And then my brother, we have the middle one. He's, he's Guppy. He's the middle fish. And then we have Tadpole. And then I was joking around on stream when everybody, uh, cause everybody calls my wife. Yeah. You fish, yeah. And, uh... Okay, so when I pick up this armor, it's gonna trigger a bunch of guys, so I'm going to pick a bigger gun. Uh, nice. let's go rocket launcher. Where are they? Where are they? There's one, and he's gone. And he's gone. Where's the big so, yeah, gun? The, the baby fish is called the minnow. Well, not the minnow, but minnow. That's what we call it on stream, so... Nice. Oh, I wanted to go with Baby Shark, but my wife hates that song <laughs> so much. Oh, that was so much easier this time around. 
Let's go back to the shotgun. So, uh, first off, to, to the children watching this video, this game is not appropriate. Your parents shouldn't be showing it to you. <laughs> but, I'll also throw this out to those two little nephews of mine that get mad when I always win when they play me at video games. I warned you, I would take you into my video game world one of these days. When you're old enough to play this game, then you'll be old enough that you can take me on. Takes For the practice. record, though, my, uh, my, like, my nephew, when he was, like, five or six, uh, did actually beat me in a video game. You let him and, beat you, or he just beat you? No, he legit beat me, because he's a button masher, and we played a, uh, Transformers, um, fighting game. Yeah. And he chose the one Transformer that he really likes. And he spammed, spammed the same attack over and over. And I couldn't land an attack to save my life. And he killed me repeatedly. And he was feeling pretty good about himself. And then uh, my sister, got a lover, says, uh, you can play him in one of your games now and show him. And I was like, thank you. So, uh, I, I kind of wrecked his world in a few games, and I feel bad because I completely broke his spirit. But, you know, it's important to have goals to aspire to, and if he's going to be a gamer, he won't get good if I let him win all the time. Get good, kid. I remember oh. the first time that I, uh, I'm going to say let him win because he did not I did not let him win I don't remember what we were doing but he was like maybe five or six legit battle starting one of these yeah, days everywhere. that boy is going to take me on and legitimately win and I look forward to that day because he's gonna earn it and he's gonna be proud of it and I'm gonna be happy for him you have graduated I uh I won't let I won't let kids beat me in games. Arms. I kids can tell when you've let them win, and it's patronizing. It makes you feel like you're really good at a game for a few minutes, and then you can't figure out why you can't beat anybody else. And then it it'll dawn on you one day that they let you win, and it's gonna it'll hurt your feelings. So I would much rather dial it down from like where I'm playing right now and let them lose gracefully and earn their way to being a competitor. Yeah, for sure. I, I don't think handing out anything does anything for a kid, you know. Oh, I like what we do at work. Kind of like what we do at work. I don't let them get anything. They have to earn it. Yeah. Because you know? when you earn it, it means something to you. For sure. Uh, but yeah, no, see. like, when I was playing my nephew, I, I remember specifically telling me, yeah, I'm just gonna let you win this time. And he's like, oh yeah, I bet you are. And then I lost. I'm like, yeah, I'll let you win. And, uh, my mom uh, was watching, she was like, did you let him right. win? I was like, absolutely not. I was planning on just whooping his butt. And he legitimately whooped mine. And it's, it's a cool feeling, like it hurts when you feel like you're gonna be the big bad guy that just absolutely annihilates somebody. And then you lose. But, uh... Okay. We're gonna take this. Damage multiplier. Let the blood flow. Goodbye. Like I'm wasting way too many bullets. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you're, you're talking about wasting bullets. I'm over here just spraying bullets at everything that moves. Really? You hit me in the back? Alright. Well, it suggests use the magnum against the pale heads. Alright, well, I guess video games, since you're giving me the secrets, I will listen. Magnum, here we go. Well, okay, you do not do the magnum, so I'll just... Oh, I teleported. Didn't plan on that. Oh no. Oh, dang, this thing, this thing, 
is die. There we go. Yeah, one shot kills him with the Magnum. Good to know. First of three major battles is now over. Good. The That's the good. easiest of the three battles. I guess I I will admit right now, uh, for the video's sake and because I'm way out of practice, I do have Doom set on easy. Because uh, hey, call me what you want. I personally don't like that just bang your head against a wall suffering difficulty. Because I don't have enough time to game to uh, to get that good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel you. Um, I like I, I like doing it like if I've got the time to d dedicate a little bit, but when you don't, yeah. it's really difficult. That's why um, you'll never see me stream playing a Souls game. Speaking of which, Dark Souls is on sale right now, apparently. I don't care. I can't do Souls. I'm one of those. Call it whatever you want. I, I like them, and they're addicting. But, See, yeah. I played I played Souls 2, and I played Bloodborne. I really like the aesthetic of Bloodborne. I just yeah. didn't have the patience to get good enough to play Bloodborne. Yeah. Well, so my, yeah, my, I've, my I've my become one of those. Kid has like my uh, my pastor's kid's one of those nerd kids that is like dominated it like several times over like he's beaten it like on every on several different times that's wild like I don't want to judge anybody who has that kind of commitment and ability I'm just not one of them it's not for me I don't understand uh, it like it, it's definitely a badge of honor if I if I meet somebody who's got like Trophies and stuff from completing the Soulsborne games. Like, kudos to you. That's something I will never have. Yeah. A bit of Bloodborne. And I played 40 minutes crashed, of it. So I never uh -huh. played it again. Get back here, you. I oh. do have it because I downloaded the uh, game when it was free on PS. Yeah, I played 40 minutes of it. I got to where I was like playing these guys and I'm just like halfway and they all had these pitchforks and they destroyed me. And I was like, yeah, I like the look of it. It's a cool game. Yeah. No. I haven't tried it yet. Find some inventory spots for a safe box. Okay. Related question. The most yep. difficult game you've ever played and successfully completed. Um... Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm in... Oh, I'm about to get wrecked. Oh, not good. I got surrounded by, uh, like, higher level guys. Okay. Oh, the tides turn fast in Doom. I went from surrounded to in a puddle of blood really fast. Quit. Um, I don't know. That's a really hard question. Honestly, um, it it's not hard by now standards, but at the time that I beat it, it was the hardest game I had ever played. It was the original Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Yeah. Like for me, it was not not specifically a game, but a trophy, right? So Resident Evil 2, since we're talking about Resident Evil versus them playing it, there's a trophy for beating hardcore with an S rank. And here's their qualifications: no more than three saves, two Dang. and a half or three and a half hour clear time, and no deaths. That's intense. You got that trophy. Yep, I have that platinum. I applaud you, sir. That, that is, in, the that is intense. That is the biggest achievement 
I, I would say probably the biggest achievement in my gaming career at the moment. Um, I actually also have seven platinums too, so. Yeah, I have, I'm here, I have no platinums. Yeah, I have seven platinums. And I will read them to you. Uh, um, also, I do have the team of the PS4, I just saw my trophy list. Resident Evil 2. I'm one trophy away from the Platinum on 4. Uh, Set Origins. Resident Evil 7. Horizon Zero Dawn. Fallout 4. Uh, And I guess Infamous oh, Second Son. That was my first one. Yeah. So those are my seven trophies. Seven platinum trophies, I should say. I don't know. Die already. Like, and I will be going for oh, that no. same trophy on this one, because I think it's possible. Granted, I was using a guide. It was kind of like a video guide. But it was still tough. It took me three days. Because you can't save until like you screw up and die. And oh, guess what? You gotta start over, dude. It's like, uh, it's fine. Yeah. It's like you put so much time and progress into it, and then like you gotta start all over. Oh, Not necessarily yeah, all over, but kill. like, yeah. Oh. One more man keep us. Where is he? Oh, I'm lost now. Okay. See, first time I played this, I had to use the BFG. I didn't have to, but I chose to because I forgot what button activated it, and when I accidentally pulled it out, I was like, oh yeah, this is happening. Oh! I just got charged by the Minotaur. Okay, um, I, I gotta like play smart here. Smart strategy. I didn't know he had spawned yet. No, he definitely spawned, and he definitely just hit me really hard. Okay, so epic music is blaring. Okay, Minotaur. Boom! Minotaur down. Doors are opening. Battle number two is complete. I might actually, just for the sake of the video, I might use the BFG in the final battle. Just because it's that cool looking. Oh, that's the button to activate the chainsaw. That's getting used to. Alright, here's one for you. It's played on. Oh, that's easy. Destiny 2. Skyrim. For me, probably uh, the Legend of Zelda, and um, whether it's Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask, I couldn't tell you because of speedrunning. But that's that's my easy answer. Like Legend or, of uh, Zelda in general, or a specific one? Uh, either OOT or MM. Like those are the two I've got the most time. Other than that, probably Factorio, and that is. Uh, a time-wasting game that you can get lost in. It's like, oh shoot, it's three in the morning, and I have to work tomorrow. <laughs> well, my I guess mine's probably a toss-up between Destiny 2 and World of Warcraft, because I was one of those guys. Oh boy. A long, long time ago on a computer far, far away. I have mine rounds. I might as well use them. Oh, there goes the head. You still alive here? Oh, Pinky. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Accidental Favorite gaming origin. moments from any game or franchise. Um, let's see, there's a lot of those. Yeah, I thought you all played the Mass Effect to the end. Um, 
Let's see. There was when Midna transformed back into her regular form. That was a really epic moment. Um, first time I ever made it to Sovngarde in Skyrim. Yeah. Um, Maximum multiplier. Here recently I felt pretty epic when we killed our first dragon in Neverwinter. Yeah. That was that was actually pretty fun. That was a lot was of fun. fun. Now it's just like a, an everyday occurrence. Oh, Pinky. You just scared the crap out of me. Oh, well, mine would have to be Mass Effect 2's um, scene when you're heading towards the Fletcher ship. Because every decision you made in the game pretty much plays out on the way there. Like, if you didn't do this loyalty mission for somebody or this, you know, they would die or something like that. Oh, I just had a realization. Did both of you guys give me permission to record your voice for video? I think so. Sure hope so. Uh, mine's, mine's on always, so... Yeah. Let me double check. Let me look at settings. I, it should be because of stream. Uh, uh, do, you, do you know where that is? party settings, and then you have to go into your settings, and it says something about permission to record audio. Yeah, mine's always allowed. Because mm -hmm. this is... Yep. Okay, always good. Because this is going to be a weird conversation with one of us not talking. Yeah. <laughs> been, through, for me, been through that before. For me, that's a difficult question to answer. Ah. Personally. Um... Like, there's a lot of little, like, feel-good moments. Oh, God. Hold on, let me... Is that that big guy? That was the big guy. Okay, chainsaw the mancubus. Oh, that was amazing. Big guy? Great, chainsaw doesn't affect the big guy. Oh great, there's nothing but big guys left. <laughs> Dude, I trapped myself by not even meaning to. Um, you know anyways, me? I think for me, <laughs> as far as like gaming moments... I oh, I love that. I think for me, for it was Assassin's Creed 2, the first time Ezio dons his <laughs> Assassin's armor. Like for me, that was cool. And it was also followed up by like one of the worst because you had to watch Ezio's family just die because of you, you know, or not Boom. really because of you, but that was for me. That was like, oh yeah, I made the big time, you know. And then you have to watch your family die. Like, uh... all right, now one more. Just completed Status. my mission. Hold on, just a second. Completed the mission. Uh, almost five thousand points. Got a new best score for myself. Jesus. Still. Uh, still a bronze rating. Wow. That's that's sad. Um, easy. Yeah, that's Some why. Difficulty. Yeah. yeah, you can get much higher scores on higher difficulties because you can rack up better multipliers. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Six headshots. Hmm. Nine direct hit kills. Mostly with the rocket launcher. 83 glory kills. Yeah. Triple hits. Got both the extra lives. I successfully got a death from above. I've never done that. You have to get them into glory kill mode and then jump from someplace high, land on top of them, and as you're landing, melee them, and it activates a new animation where you land on top of them and crush them. I've never pulled one of those off. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, well, uh, this is CSO Gamer with Fish Food and the Pain, and I'm going to go ahead and sign off. You guys have a good night, and uh, see you next time.